Hello guys, the Doctor Who here, and today we are in uh, Feed the Beast, and this is our second episode, woohoo! Um, as you can see, I did a little bit more work on the workshop, so I did the walls in a pretty cool pattern, I think, and I kind of patterned the floor up. I think it looks pretty darn nice. Do I have torches? No, I don't. I think it looks pretty nice. Um, I'm going to replicate this pattern onto the roof and then use glass. I was going to do a dome, but then it occurred to me that uh, I don't want to be spending years here, so I'm just going to cheap out on the roof, and actually I'm not really cheaping out because I'm using this really nice clear glass, which is really hard to get. <laughs> you have to smelt it up in the, in my Ticker's Construct uh, forge over here. So that takes a very long time, and it's a bit labor-inducive, so yeah, it's not quite as easy route out as you may think. Now, um, today I said we'd do a little bit of Tinker's Construct stuff, and we're gonna do it, so crazy, right? But not what I was thinking we we're gonna do. Um, I think we're gonna start off and just basically, uh, well, basically we're gonna make infinite emeralds. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of cheaty, but it's not that cheaty, and it's because for my trading to get uh, notebooks and pages in Miscraft, I need emeralds, and I'm getting fed up with these guys. I, I put this here to get rid of the stupid noise they create, but I'm getting fed up, you know, trading 14 raw beef for an emerald. It's just super annoying. So we're going to use Tinker's Construct to uh, make infinite emeralds, and I think it's going to work out well for us. So let's... I pretty much figured out how it is. I want to do this already. Uh, no, not that. I want this, yes. Um, this guy and this guy. Poof. Where's my crescent wrench? There it is. Let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of that. Um, so what we're going to do, come on, is basically we're going to melt down villagers. <laughs> this sounds awful, but it's, it's going to be so worth it. We're going to melt down villagers in this thing, and when you melt down a villager in your uh, smeltery in Ticker's Construct, they actually give you a little bit of emerald. So, yeah, we're going to do that. And we're going to use uh, auto spawners to basically spawn a bunch of them and just melt them down. Um, but the only weird thing about it is you can only pull stuff... Oh, I need a gem cast. Got it. You can only pull stuff out of the smeltery, or the thing you want at least, if it's on the bottom. Right now we see we have molten iron on the bottom. And um, basically we have to make it so the emerald, which will be on the top when it melts down, goes to the bottom. So we have to pull the iron out through this tube, and that's what we're using this for. This is gonna, hello, can I right click this? Yes, I can. So. First off, I probably need a bucket of molten emerald. Now, how am I going to get that? That's a good question. Um, molten. I didn't. I knew what I needed. Emerald. Come on. So I need to whitelist emerald. Liquefied emerald. How do I get that? Um, yeah, but I need, I need it in bucket form, silly guy. How else can I get this? Okay, I guess I can put a bucket in. So I need a bucket. <laughs> oh, how does that? Can I even pull stuff out of this with? Let's see. I swear I have buckets. Yeah, there's one. Uh, I need to smelt down an emerald. Will that give me a whole bucket? I'm not sure. Let's put one of these in here. I have lava, I don't know why it always keeps lying to me. So this is gonna melt down, and let's see, can I just like, pull this out? How will this work? I'm not so sure, hang on. Let's get one of, one of these. Hmm. No, don't do that. So I guess I'm gonna get my bucket of liquid emerald, and then we'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. I figured it out. You just put a bucket on this casting table and then you put in a thousand millibuckets. As you can see, Whale is telling us how much we have in millibuckets. And um, you get a bu you get a bucket of it, which was just a little bit weird for me. Uh, actually, I need this casting table still. 
Yeah. Uh, come on. There we go. Need this guy like that. Got to fix everything I already had set up. Jeez. Okay, there we go. Um, now we should probably put on... No, no. Don't put a server there. Stop. Okay. There we go. Put a servo here. There we go. Um, and right here. And we're going to whitelist in this one. We're going to whitelist just Molten Emerald. Where is my bucket? Boop, just like that. And yes, this needs a redstone signal. We want that. And in this one, we're going to whitelist just Molten Iron. And let's whitelist. Hi, yes. Is this whitelisted? I can't remember now. Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. And then this guy, what he's going to do is if there's fluid in the tank, preferably emerald, um, then send a redstone signal. And what that'll do is basically it'll pull this iron out. Why Are you giving a redstone signal now? No, you're not. Um, it'll pull the iron out. And it'll pull the emerald out. And it'll be good. It basically it'll make the emerald go to the bottom. Okay, there we go. And now this guy, yes, perfect. As we saw, it worked there. And now why don't we just put a item duct? I think this will work. I'm not positive on this. A chest. Let's pull out. I'm gonna need a lever. Oh, I got one. Look at me. I'm on top of everything today, guys. And then let's do that. Do that. Um, this guy goes here. Okay, that'll pull anything out. Where'd my torch go? There it is. Perfect. This should be a automatic system now for getting emerald. Now we just need to be able to get villagers in here. And we're going to do that with uh, this guy, the auto spawner. Actually, can I put this back in somehow? Because I kind of don't want this to be... Can I pour this on the ground? What does this look like? <laughs> what does this do? Hmm, nothing. Just spreads all my torches around. Hmm. Well, that wasn't as cool as I'd hoped. Okay. Boop. Um, last torch. Come on. There we go. Um, I'm just going to put this stuff in here for now until I figure out how to use it. What else did I need? I need this. And as you can see, I already started to melt this guy down. And then I figured out I probably wanted him. So... I had to stop. There's my cobble. Right there. Perfect. Good. Now, the problem with this, the only problem with this, oh, get me out of here. The only problem with this is villagers can spawn on a 5x5, five five, so they might spawn on the outside of this. However, it's kind of unlikely. So I'm going to err on the side of it being unlikely and hope it doesn't become a problem. Okay, that's our energy cell. Let's chuck this guy just right on top, like so. And he should be outputting. Let's check this out. Okay, good. So this guy should be full power, and he's already got mob essence. Cool. Um, I thought I was going to have to put more in there, but um, I already did. And now we should just have to put this little guy in here, and it should work. As we saw, one guy did spawn out. Two guys did. Uh, okay, let's pull this out. Did I pull it out? Yeah, I did. And let's A, push these guys in there. We're going to put a cap on this so that this doesn't happen. Come on, guy. I know you want to be melted down. I know it. I know you do. I know you do. Ah, gotcha. Um, now these guys, unfortunately, do they have good trades? No, whoa, that's a horrible trade. Wow, you're dead. And you guys never get good trades, so you're just dead too. Um, ooh, priest, let's check him out. Oh, that's an awful trade. And there was one more guy, I saw him. Well, he escaped. Um, basically, these guys should be getting melted down now. They should be getting melted down now. Hmm. 
Hmm. Why are you guys not melting? Is this not hurting you? Ah, uh, not this glitch again. I ran into this glitch before, where these guys weren't getting melted. And I'm not sure why that is, but I f if you break this and you pretty much break most of this, it seemed to fix. I already had this problem once. It was highly annoying, so hopefully I don't have this problem again. It could have been that I had too much iron in, which is another possibility. So we will try that as well. Um, we need a nugget. Chuck this guy in here. And now we're going to wait for this to melt. So I will wait and I'll be right back when it's started to hurt them again. Okay, guys, I'm back. And they all just took a little bit of damage. Yeah, yeah, it's working again. I don't know. It's a weird glitch. And I also, in that meantime, I took the time to fix this so that they won't spawn outside of it. There we go. <laughs> oh man, I feel so bad. <laughs> but I like emeralds a lot. And there we go, we got, we already got two. So <laughs> it's a very lucrative method. Um, here, let's put this spawner back in. This should now, they shouldn't be spawning outside. So that's, that's good. Um, the only thing I need to do now is um, give this continuous juice, because as we can see, it's already out. So that's going to be my thing for next time. Actually, I might do that off camera next. Um, let's see how many emeralds we got from that. Four. Oh, man. Guys, it's so much better than trading with them. I feel bad committing mass genocide, but then again, I don't, because I hate, I hate trading with them so much. So much. When I can just melt them down, it's so much more fun. So... Uh, that's all I have for today. Um, I'm probably going to set up a way to get this uh, auto-refilled off camera, and we'll check that out next time. Let me know what you guys thought and anything else you'd like to talk about, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!